Admiral's Log, August 18th, 1918. Over the years, the time between wars starts to blend together. A quick war, a brief peace, followed by another war and another peace. It's like I'm beginning to lose track of time. More and more do I find myself lost in thought. Especially in peacetime, I find it difficult to focus on my duties. Out of habit, I still drive to my old, burned-out home even though I haven't lived there in over eight years. The ruin is still there, its carcass as hollow as my soul. While my children are gone, I've taken on a somewhat patriarchal role over the navy. Old, mangled, yet still able to stand on my own two feet against everyone's expectations. I reside over the ships, the men and the navy as a whole, as a loving father. I offer advice where needed, but more often, I show my faith in my men's ability to resolve their problems on their own, much as I would parent my children. This is paying off, as the Navy now is quite different from the Navy the men were originally trained for all those years ago. The captains were trained to maintain distance from the enemy and then pick them off from afar. Our doctrine calls for a very different way of warfare, as our ships quickly close the distance and engage with overwhelming firepower at short range. The new cruiser Molotov has already proven that this tactic works, even with bigger guns. Her 11-inch rapid-fire guns are the largest we've used so far, and they've proven to be exceptionally deadly. Whereas our smaller guns start a few fires, these shells are so large and deadly that they instantly engulf several parts of the target ship in flames, causing massive panic aboard the target vessel. I have ordered the naval architects to look into alternative ways to incorporate these relatively big short guns into future designs. We might have just found the sweet spot for our way of warfare. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 11 of the, well, not the big guns campaign, as I was going to say, no. This is the European Embers campaign, close enough. We have an interesting situation developing here. This is the Solferino, which has made itself kind of uh, immortal when she rammed a heavy cruiser to death. She's about to get busy. There's a battle cruiser, there are a couple of heavy cruisers, there's light cruisers, there's destroyers. She's about to get really, really busy. Let's see if she can handle all of this heat. And I actually don't really expect her to survive. And that's fine. I'm not that attached to this battleship. So we'll just see how much damage we can rack up. Do as much damage as possible before she goes down. And she's going to go down with glory and honor. Here we go. The opening salvos of the battle. Problematic is that I cannot spot the enemy. Yet. There we go. I have set my main guns to save. Only fire when you have an accurate solution on the enemy. Otherwise we might risk losing shots that we can take on more valuable targets. This is definitely an interesting target. This is DD with eight torpedo tubes. Posing a significant risk. Slow down even more. And well, as much as I disapprove... Solferino's main armament is consisting of AP shells. I think she has uh, increased. No, it's standard ratio. Really? Why do I have that many more AP shells then? Standard ratio at all, is it? No. Come on. Oh, the guns refuse to turn. What the shit was that supposed to be? P-state? Not great. Battle has just begun. I've already lost a percent of my crew. There you go. We got a hit. A whole one. Now bring the guns to bear. Destroy the secondary gun. Bring the guns to bear and destroy the Falsi Gagné. Ooh, that's a lot of torps you got there, friend. And... Anti-torp 3. I don't really see a way out yet. Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where every attack is a bit of a puzzle game. Haha, <laughs> dud. Nice try. My turn. Francois, sorry, Francie is uh, starting to flood. Let's 
try and keep some distance between him and the other guys. Oh, come on. Don't run now. You just torpedoed me. Your weapon was a dud. At least be man enough to stand here and take it. 34% buoyancy. 33. 28. Come on. You almost got one. Get him. Destroy another secondary gun. Lovely. 9% crew lost? What? Thank you. First blood. First blood. Star return. Shit. Lost sight. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting last stand, but if I cannot spot any enemies to shoot, then we're going to have a really rough time. Come on, get those exclamation marks away and try to take a screenshot. More. Fine. No screenshot for you. Um, let's continue the turn, because I didn't expect this many to pop up out of nowhere. Ooh, yes! Flooding on the DD. Temeraire. We got there. What we got there? Another DD, yes. Ah, the Temeraire is done. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna switch to high, sh uh, high explosive. We're gonna have a try at burning down this battle cruiser. My crew continues to die. Come on, this guy's sailing right in front. Now is the time to strike. Right now. For some reason or another, this battle cruiser is really angry with me. Coming to within four kilometer range. Firing soft capped HE. Oh, he's doing it again. Come on, shoot the DD. Because we cannot currently deal that much damage against the Neptune. No, actually we can. AP. Ought to select secondaries on that. Get some damage in on the Neptune. Torpedoes from the Basque. Oh, what the fuck? I was fine. If you keep throwing torpedoes at a curveball angle, how am I supposed to defend against that? Come on, take out the Basque. That would be the third DD. This angle, I probably won't hit it. 0.5? Let me guess. Damage and stability. Yeah, 50%. 50% damage to stability. That's uh, not very helpful in trying to hit a target. The ship is flooding. I got two CAs off of my port side. Well, I took down two DDs with me, which is a battleship. It's not a bad performance. Let's see if we can deal some damage against the heavy cruiser. It is a bigger target, after all. Turn the ship, turn the guns. Let's see if we can hit something a little bigger. Right now, it, <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Oh, poor battleship. What? Yeah. Wait. Something something died due to extensive fire. <laughs> That's great, but it was not my doing. How did that happen? The only thing I can imagine is friendly fire. Okay. And considering that it died, it's probably a destroyer that got wedged between myself and a heavy cruiser or a light cruiser. Fascinating. Oh, come on. Surely we can get more than half a percent chance to hit. Really? That's the pen. Pretty bad. Seven and a half inch main belt. Of course you do. Come on. Destroyed secondary gun again. I have quite a few fires aboard my ship now. That's concerning. Tigre. Gaimon's gonna do the same thing here. Um, with a damaged rudder, I'm not able to steer stuck in this turn. Best I can do is reverse, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to try and ram the Kaiman. Oh, for God's sake. 26% you miss everything. 
There's the torpedo attack. Kaiman is doing 19 knots. I'm doing 14. And it's about to be a whole lot less. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ammo detonation aboard the Solferino. Yikes. Oh, this poor ship. Oh, well. She served me decently for a while. Didn't pay for the construction. I paid for some repairs. And, um, yeah. All right. The true Austro-Hungarian Navy is doing perfectly fine. The true Austro-Hungarian Navy will have its revenge. So, that is uh, more victory points for me? They sunk a battleship. They lost three destroyers? Is it because these things are so cheap? No. Because these are cheap too. I don't get it. How did I get more victory points out of that? But it is a defeat. That makes little sense to me. Anyway, it does show that the French have teeth. It shows that the French have quite a lot of teeth, in fact. I think... Is it this task force? No. What task force was it? Oh, probably beamed back home because it got damaged. They still have 49 ships. 62 is the Brits. We have a lot more victory points than they do, so that's progress. Um, we're still working on gun layouts and small guns, but we don't know what's coming up next. All right, let's continue. I'm going to force another encounter with the French, but it seems like they're just nicely holed up in Toulon. Oh, not all of them. Hey, it's Neptune again. Oh, boy. This time it's the Souffre. And Helgoland and Traun, two of my heavy cruisers of the Sebenico class. Okay, let's see if we can get some revenge for our fallen sister ship. Perhaps, perhaps this battleship is a bit more capable now that she has escorts. I'll take control of all of these ships myself. I don't trust the formation system one bit. You boys, no torpedoes. You have standard bulkhead spacious quarters. Oh yes, you got the 12 and a half inch guns. We might be able to take out the heavy cruiser with... Oh, sorry, the battle cruiser with that and the heavy cruiser. Leave the smaller shit to the town. The escorting stuff. Light cruiser destroyers. Profile wise, they have a light cruiser destroyer, heavy cruiser and the battle cruiser. I didn't really look too closely at what ships they have. We're just going to fight it out. It's fine. Town, veterans, Helgoland, veterans. Uh, only trained for the Souffron. Unfortunate. Oh, there you are. Alright, fine. Be like that. Be like that. Secondary guns on the Souffron are only a 4 inch and a bunch of casemate 3 inches. Not great, because I think they're also... F what? First hit to the main tower. I think they're also fairly short barrel. So they're not going to be very accurate. And you can bet that those battleships, or that those cruisers and destroyers, are not that interested in closing into a battleship. Unless they want to do a torpedo run at it. In which case, it would be... Interesting, <clears throat> shall we say. Wait, they lost sight? Situation is terrible. Okay, and now they've been spotted again. There. They spotted the Souffron, not the Traun. They don't know about the Traun. Interesting. We got one ship there, several ships there, there, and there. Hello. Destroyer popped up out of nowhere. They're probably just as surprised as I am. Come on. We know that these destroyers are very easy to kill. So let's focus on that. Slow, guys. Slow, slow, slow. These destroyers are dangerous, gentlemen. There are eight torpedo launchers per. Yes. That's the hit I was looking for. La Palme has already torped. The Traun is dodging those. This is... Bit less fortunate. There's one. 
dodged like a pro. Tan, all yours. Maybe rotate the guns. Point gun at target, pull trigger. See? Dead destroyer. Job done. Thank you. Oh, these heavy crews are so much better than that one battleship. All right, let's go back. Increase the flank. We've done our duty over here. Now it is time to figure out what's going on with the others. There's a lot of them. Relatively short... Well, maybe not short guns, but smaller guns, considering the rate of fire. And so far, they have done jack shit. That's good. It's really good. Helgoland. Approach from that side. Traun, this side. Ah, there we are. Hello, light cruiser. You're gonna have a really tough time. First hit. That was not the battleship that did that. That was the 6-inch from the Traun. Slow to 2 times speed. Okay, how do I want to play this? This guy's not that dangerous. Destroyed secondary tower. This is the heavy cruiser. Uh, really big guns. It looks intimidating. Sorry. That's the battle cruiser. Uh, it is intimidating. Did you just destroy the main tower? And the secondary tower. Okay, you cannot shoot for shit. Right. So, let's focus on the smaller stuff first. Don't, wanna, don't worry about the battle cruiser. It's not that big of a deal. And just say that right to his face and he'll be even less happy. Engines damaged. Focus on this. I'm gonna focus fire on one target at a time. And just completely cripple it. After that, we can switch. And none of the French are gonna leave her alive. Because their fast ships are dead. And the rest are going to be in trouble. This guy is getting positively murdered. And probably will succumb to fire very shortly. This is less than opportune. Should have had you change direction. My bad. Dud. Luck of the draw. Turn. Finish them off. I better not see you firing AP. Not a true believer. This guy is. He <laughs> bet. What the fuck? He sure is now. Whoa! That's a heavy cruiser. Sorry, that's the battle cruiser dealing three and a half thousand points of damage. Wow! I thought you couldn't shoot for shit. You can't! And what? With less than a percent chance to hit me? You caused a massive hit. That's pretty scary. Okay, Kaiman is down. Here we got the Pexon. Tom needs to. GTFO, if she wants to live, go. Go. This guy's gonna go extensive fire as well. All the four inches are dead as well. Flooding. There's the Tigre. She was sort of responsible for the death of my other battleship, so I'm eager to see her destroyed. No, this. This. Don't switch to the new guy. Focus on the existing guy. 15 million, 17 million. That's a cute torpedo. Be careful where you're pointing that thing, because that, that does damage if you hit something. How many bulkheads you got? Not enough. Okay. 43% four weight offset. That's a nice design. I like being tilted. Okay, you're down to your last 7 HE shells. At least make it work so that this heavy cruiser dies. And then we can switch to AP and deal with the Neptune. What's your weak spot? <laughs> Rephrase. What's not your weak spot? 50% armor quality. Zero superstructure. That's why the main tower died and the secondary tower. Uh, half an inch of aft belt and a little under an inch of fore belt. Good lord. I think you guys have been slightly, slightly screwed by whoever designed your ships. Hold on, you better not run. 
Switch to the Neptune. That thing did a fairly substantial amount of damage to my heavy cruiser. It deserves to be punished. Can you hit that? Meh. 7%. Tigre seems to have uh, extinction problems. At the hands of the Helgoland. 18k. 7k from the battleship. There's the difference. All the fires are being started aboard the Tigre. You do... Oh, I thought you hit him with the torpedo. Because I saw the battleship launch a torp. There it is. Okay. Flooding. Destroyed torpedo launchers on the Tigre. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Dud. French are getting a little unlucky. Finish this guy off. It definitely was not the Hirondelle. Because it was the Tigre that launched the torpedo, but I thought her torpedo launchers were destroyed. What the hell? Are you lying to me? Or did you just toss the torpedo overboard? A bunch of strong sailors lifting the torpedo out of the tube and going, eh, we'll just do it ourselves. And tossed it overboard. Somehow it activated and was well on course to deal damage to the Souffron until it turned out to be a dud. Dangerous games. 30% crew loss. These many bulkhead ships are annoying to deal with. The Rondel is going to be even worse. Neptune's almost dead. Hold on. Neptune also has torpedoes. Huh. Extensive fire. Good. Now you're catching on. Destroyed funnel. Funnel's part of the superstructure. Easy kill. I'm currently more concerned about the light cruiser than the battle cruiser. There's your mistake. Mine, that is. Oh, extensive fire. Extensive fire. Bad day to be a French battle cruiser. Yeah, you're dead. Start switching. This hirondelle is probably up to no good. There you go. So, hirondelle. Sorry, hirondelle. They don't pronounce the H. Let me introduce you to the napalm. Oh, it's working. Did you just torpedo me? You impotent little shit. It's not even in the same zip code. If you're going to try and scare somebody, you're going to have to make sure you can follow through on your threat. Because this is just a joke. Secondary guns. Isn't it time for you to start launching turrets now? Because that's usually what your type does. Hit them a few times and they start sparkling. Return the favor. Oh, your torpedo launcher got destroyed, didn't it? Ugh. Fine. Ooh. That was a good hit. That was the battle. No. Was that the heavy cruiser? The heavy cruiser dealt 1,500 damage with a secondary gun? I'm not sure if I should be terrified or proud of that. Okay, I need you to cease fire. You guys are way trigger happy. Yeah, they're 4 inch and the 1.4s are dead. I got nothing left. Now go land, finish them off. Structural integrity, done. Survivors, not enough. Ship done. Job done. <laughs> 11,000 victory points. Oh man, when are the French going to come complaining that they want peace again? <laughs> sure. Oh, it's like I predicted these things. <laughs> Convoy. Sure. <laughs> oh man.
Just hit the French or any other nation hard enough and they're gonna go, oh, please, peace, peace, peace. Yes, well, you fucking started it. You kept insulting my nation. What do you think's gonna happen? You tried to do a shakedown. What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just murder another convoy for good measure so that the French get the message. We got the five inch guns, bow stern, a couple of threes, and some torpedo launchers. Let's save the torps. Where's the enemy? There? Okay. Unexpected. Normally it's just fairly straight sailing, but these guys, not so much. Here you are. Now, that's a nice heavy cruiser you got there. But I'm more interested in the destroyer. Smoke. You're about to torp me now. Turning. Yep. Oh, it's like I played this game before. Don't worry about the DD. It's toothless. Focus on the discard. You're gonna just continue on your merry way. You're gonna target this if you must shoot something. If you can sink the foudroyant on your way towards the convoy, that would be fantastic. Uh, try not to instantly desecrate this light cruiser because we still need a survivor if I want to be able to get to the convoy. Yeah, see, so you cannot... Hola, I do require some restraint. Are you firing armor piercing, you heretic? Oh shit, this has torpedoes. What is this shit? Get away from me. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Polo went, fuck off. <laughs> Dunked two torpedoes at the Foudroyon. Oh man. This is turning into some comedy episode. Uh, cease fire on the main guns. It's hard to stay serious with situations like these. I hope you guys watching are also having a good time with the campaign. No, 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 no. Good effort, but no. Just... No, no, no. Go find me a convoy, Firestarter. If these escort ships are here, then the convoy is just up ahead. Hello, boys! Allow me to introduce you to 3-inch guns up close. Start shooting this. How much time do we need to kill this CL? Same class, right? Yeah. Open fire. Switch our attention to the Firestarter D4, which is using its three inch guns to great effect. This light, or sorry, this transport's having a, a fairly rough time. Main guns. You. There you go. Because if something like that hits, it's gonna deal a lot more damage. Yeah, you're done. I just don't know it yet. How are you doing? This cart taking some damage. What the fuck? Did that main gun on the destroyer just get destroyed? Yes. These things are armed. Ooh. You really shouldn't have done that. Now that I know your kind are armed. You're a fair target for torpedoes as well. Why is this taking so long? Torpedoes against the transport. I mean, it's what they were historically fairly well used for. Yeah, that's that. Hola. Status. Get rid of that. Smoke yourself up. Get rid of the Newton. Just torpedo it, it's fine. Torpedoes away. Main guns against the Pertuis Sun. Suicidal torpedoes. Watch this thing just not get hit, or it's a dud. It's a dud. <sighs> well, it's the comedy episode after all, so... Yeah, what can you expect? 
Hold on. Was this supposed to be a torpedo attack? Because these torpedoes all have a mind of their own. None of them are going where you expect them to go. Make up your mind. Kill one. Then switch your fire over to the other. More shoots. More, 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 more. Turn. Dead. Perfect. Pola. Been fun. Time to finish the game. Newton. Guns. Steady. Let the guns do some work, please. There we go. That's more like it. This guy's just throwing torps yet? No. Newton. These things are actually quite survivable. Although previously I was shooting at them with an 11 inch gun, so comparing that to a 3 inch gun is hardly fair. Okay, if you guys could wrap this up, that'd be lovely. Damage their rudder and prepare to hit him with torpedoes. Because he's going to hit you just the same. You have three torpedoes left. That was to another funnel. Very good. Cut their engine efficiency. I was expecting some damage to the rudder by now. See, when I'm doing a fight like this, I'm thinking I need a, a light cruiser with bigger guns. It's just not quite going fast enough. The hits are actually quite good. It's about 10% accuracy. Probably more than they can say. Yeah. Um, but... Even as we're doing damage and starting fires, I'm not quite satisfied. So I'm very much interested in getting a better light cruiser hull, which will allow me to get more and better guns. I hope that we get a hull which gives you at least some room for creativity. That's not always a given. Oh, your rudder's been damaged. Fire starter, where are you at? Oh, you're coming in at 15 knots. My bad. Still got torpedoes to scout on your port to starboard, right? Yep. Okay, so if I pull alongside in the Pola, I'm going to regret it. What's your stern armor like? Hmm. Half belt, 2.8. It's better than the battle cruiser from a moment ago. Bow launcher? You do not have a bow launcher. Destroy the secondary gun. Crew lost 32.5%. Pretty serious. That might be the run doing. Still only trained versus my seasoned guys and regular aboard the Firestarter D4. Carry on. Hit. the flank. We're going to do something a bit more dangerous. There you go. We're going to destroy the torpedo launchers. And now we can pull alongside. And now I can torpedo them at point blank range. And just watch as three duds do absolutely no damage to the target. Forty-one percent crew loss. Oh, we're not going to get the opportunity to torp them. The whole crew is going to be dead. Well... Enough of the crew. 419. 42. 43. Wait, torpedo when ready. Oh, and now they destroyed the torpedo tubes in the polo. What a dick move. 44. Are you even trying? Never mind. 
I think the fire starter D4 wasn't shooting at all. That's a bit of a disgrace. I expect results. Anyway, I also expect results from the French. I want to know what they're about to give me, if anything. Let's have a look. What do they want to give me? My government going to accept my suggestion that we go to peace? No. Okay, fine. Fine. Wow. The French have lost 10 transports. The British have lost 6, 10, and 10. Jesus, they're getting taken apart. Because that is really bad for your economy. They're down to 79 billion. The French, 36 billion. It's still hard to imagine that the Germans have a smaller economy than everybody else. But that's where we're at. Okay, let's uh, fix my ships up. Because even though I had this on, that doesn't save. And there was another ship that had low crew or no? No, it's fine. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for the next.